Hey guys, it is Friday the 4th of October. My name is Jess McDonald and you're watching GameSpot News Top 5, the show where we realize you're a very important person with a lot on your plate, so we serve up the week's gaming news in one digestible segment. A mess of talk erupted this week as Ubisoft's Jonathan Morin confirmed that Watch Dogs will run at 30 frames per second on both next generation consoles. With all the buzz around 60 frames per second, it came as a blow to fans hoping for a more optimized experience, but Morin defends the move, saying their focus is on keeping it steady, which can be difficult when dealing with an open world. In additional Watch Dogs news, it seems to bother gamers, apart from the fact that we've seen so many demos by this point there can't possibly be any more gameplay, is that Morin wasn't sure if the game's native resolution on Xbox One and PS4 was 720 or 1080p. Do these technical issues bother you, or do you think it's not such a big deal. Leave me your word pictures. Remember last week when I guessed that Valve's third announcement was going to be the Steam controller and then referenced the slim chance that it could be Half-Life 3? Well, this week not only did we get details on the Steam controller, we also got a serious tease regarding Half-Life 3. So I'm chalking that up as a win. The aforementioned controller looks like this and will feature a clickable touch screen and haptic feedback. It'll work with all your Steam games, including those not built with controller support, and has two clickable trackpads with a resolution that approaches that of a desktop mouse. On the Half-Life 3 front, Valve registered a trademark for the game, but that's pretty much the short and long of that story, so we'll get back to you when we know more. Microsoft proved themselves to be terrible gift givers this week as they announced that Xbox Live Gold subscribers can grab Halo 3 for free later this month. Halo 3, the game from the franchise most gamers bought an Xbox for, which also came out six years ago. I'm not one to complain about free games, though technically a subscription means it's not totally free, but I'm taking an educated guess that this is probably not the best move by Microsoft to endear themselves to gamers. Previous games offered as part of this deal include Assassin's Creed 2 and Fable 3. If you are that one person who has an Xbox Live subscription and doesn't own Halo 3, you can grab it from October 16 to 31. Enjoy it, dude! You likely already know this by now, but Era 37's cousin has come to town in the form of GTA Online, evoking the age-old battle between gamers and broken online modes. Rockstar is super sorry about their game's online mode, which they already made you wait two weeks for. Horror stories are surfacing about players losing progress, not being able to get online at all, and having their game bug out after the first tutorial mission. So in response, Rockstar have said they're working their fingers to the bone to fix it. They've also temporarily disabled microtransactions, so you aren't somehow tempted to drop more money on the game mode that is already barely working. In our final and obviously most important story of the day, Zynga have finally reached a settlement with that casual sex at Bang With Friends, who they were suing for using their With Friends phrase. Because, dear viewers, if it's not Zynga, it's not With Friends. The terms of the suit weren't revealed, but one can assume Zynga just kept throwing money at Bang With Friends Incorporated until they decided to change their name to the equally seedy Down instead. Well, I'm glad we can stop sitting on the edges of our seat on that one. Unless you're a very important business person on a very important business trip, maybe you'd like to leave me your thoughts on what game you'd actually like to get for free from Xbox Live. You can leave me a comment down below, chat to me on my personal Twitter, at JessMcDonnell, or you can use our GS News hashtag. This week on site, I scream Man Bear Pig while playing Amnesia Machine for Pigs, Danny gives you the rundown on what on earth happened to Assassin's Creed, and Cam and Seb find that in Skyrim, man's best friend is not a dog, it's in fact a bear that transforms and breeds fire. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on YouTube if you haven't already, and check out our GS News Hub for more, and that should pretty much cover you off on all our content. Thanks for watching guys, I'm Jess McDonnell, I hope you have excellent respective weekends, and I'll see you in a few days.